Hello, welcome to uh, season premiere of uh, Meet the Marketer Cities. I'll be your host, Lulu Saidi, and uh, joining me right here at Asab Royal is the creator of Meet the Marketer Cities, Mr. Victor McClough. Thank you, Lulu, for <laughs> hosting me on my own show. You are welcome, most welcome. In fact. Tell us something about Meet the Marketer series. How did it come about? Uh, well, uh, Meet the Marketer series uh, was to play a twofold role. Uh, one was uh, to change the perception of uh, marketing to the public. You realize uh, not many people know what uh, marketing is all about, and uh, you find you have quacks, if I can uh, say say so, uh, who give marketing a bad name. Mm -hmm. The other thing was, uh, while back in campus, I really couldn't say who I looked up to in, in terms of ma marketing, in the marketing field, and uh, not many role models. I, I couldn't uh, single out somebody uh, that I'd want to be like, uh, or I'd want to uh, reach uh, the level of success when it comes to marketing. I even didn't know uh, which uh, field of marketing I would land into. So, Meet the Marketer series uh, aims to bring marketers who've uh, been able to to make it, if, if, I, if, I, if I can say so, and uh, also to inform the public of, of more on what marketing is all about. Okay, more of forces to reckon with in, in the marketing world. Yes. You seem so passionate about this. Is marketing something you grew up with, you know, when you were a kid in primary school, you wanted to be a marketer? <laughs> You know, it, it sounds like one of those professions that, well, I mean, I, I'll, I'll talk on my, my own and my part. People wanted to be doctors and teachers and lawyers, not so much marketers. So I don't know. For you, is it something that came naturally? Well, uh, it's, it's the same. Uh, I wanted to be a pilot initially, growing up, uh, primary school, high school. When I finished high school uh, at Nairobi School, my folks went to check out uh, where uh, the best place I could go for aviation and so it proved to be a costly affair okay so I ended up going to university the school of business okay. the University of Nairobi to do marketing which was something they themselves had suggested so I, I think at the time it was what uh, was uh, trending uh, hot cake, <laughs> yeah if, if I can say so okay yeah. and so then after that you uh, started your own marketing company that uh, is called the marketing moguls Tell us about that. Uh, it's, uh, it's interesting. How uh, moguls came about was that in campus, I, I had a pal who used to work for an agency and uh, he used to run the Coca-Cola fan page. Yeah. So he used to come back uh, to, to school and uh, share the stories of how it was fun uh, running the social media uh, strategy and all that. And so, because, you know, I just used to chill at uh, his place. Uh, he used to skip some classes that I used to find boring. <laughs> uh, it drove me to start blogging on marketing stuff. And I also started a fan page. At that time, Pepsi was making a comeback into the market. So I started a Pepsi fan page. And then from there on, I started now doing social media gigs for hotels, uh, mostly in Machakos uh, because of uh, the Masaku 7s. So that was the basis of how uh, Mogul started. So when he started, it was largely social media management. Did Pepsi ever realize that there was somebody running a fan page for them on social media? Uh, did they? <laughs> At that time, it was called Pepsi Lovers Kenya. Okay. But uh, there's one time I got an inbox mm -hmm. uh, by people from uh, DDB. Uh, they wanted to to run an ad. What I didn't know at the time was that they 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 were they were sourcing for for clients. Okay. I was looking for a job, <laughs> so we had everything set: a meeting date, uh, a place. Uh, the guy from DDB had the whole creative team ready to wow. to meet me. What he didn't know that I was also looking for a job. I wasn't in any way connected with the Pepsi. No, but that's, so that's we realized at, at the end that uh, there had been some miscommunication somewhere. And then uh, the things uh, just uh, stopped there. But I, I think it was, uh, it was an interesting uh, period of, also okay. of learning. That's quite interesting. Yeah. You seem to have this passion for marketing. And when we look at the Kenyan marketing standards currently, how would you rate them vis-a-vis -vis international marketing standards? 
I'd say for multinationals that that we currently have, you know, they have standards uh, that they they adhere to. Yeah. Uh, but the local companies, uh, it, it's a hit and miss affair. Mm. We don't have so many uh, marketing professionals, mm. and uh, by marketing professionals, I mean people who've got the relevant training and uh, the experience to be able to carry out, say, like uh, marketing campaigns, yes. good ones. Mm -hmm. uh, a good measure of uh, the marketing pulse will be a look at the adverts that we currently have on TV. And you can actually tell some don't really connect uh, with, with the public uh, compared to the ones for multinationals. Okay. Yeah, so I think we have, uh, we still have a long way to go yeah. uh, locally. Yeah. But, you know, so many times you hear people complain, especially marketers, that, oh, you know, um, the company might not be giving marketers enough budget for this, whatever it is. And then the accounting office would go like, no, marketers, this is too much. Do marketers really need that much? Is it, is it so important, you know, if, if the, good is, the product is good, won't it just sell? How important is, is that? Mm, that has actually been a challenge. And uh, most people say it's what stifles uh, a marketer's growth uh, up the corporate ladder. They are perceived as uh, wasters of, of the resources. But what uh, most people don't realize is that you have to invest in, in some of these things. If it's awareness, uh, you need to pay so that you reach uh, the mass market. You need to pay for research. Uh, it's not just about the product. You need to carry out a lot of research to know whether it really uh, solves the needs of, 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 the, of the consumers. And that requires money. Otherwise, if, if, if you just... Uh, have a set budget, a, a small budget, well, you can expect also the results will be, well, small. Yeah, I remember yeah. one of your series on uh, marketer, marketer, marketing moguls, rather, and you talked about how uh, having a great product without a great marketing strategy is like winking at a beautiful <laughs> girl in the dark. Nobody knows what you're doing. Tell us about your first job, the first job you might have landed after campus, or what you'd consider as your first job. <laughs> uh, my first job uh, was actually before I even got into campus. And it was a sales job, and uh, it was during uh, you. You remember the the line? Yes. 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 I'm sure, everybody had one then. <laughs> It was pretty new in the market, so we just finished high school. And uh, we were staying at home and uh, there was no money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your parents don't give you money. So uh, we decided, me and a couple of other guys, we decided to look for jobs. So one day we set out Tamakin, uh, going to places asking if they could give us jobs. Well, we, we, we didn't mind, even if it was arranging boxes. Uh, after like uh, four hours, we, we'd gone to industrial area, we didn't get anything, so we were coming back to South Sea. So that time you had uh, a distribution point at Olivia. So we found guys selling lines there, and then we asked them how they got the job. They told us to wait for the owners to come. So when the owner came, uh, so that we were young guys, he gave us lines to sell. Wow. Uh, no training, uh, no nothing, you just paid us to go sell online. <laughs> so that same day, you started yeah. working? Yes, and uh, that time, sales is is, is, uh, is a marketing job. I'd say that was the first time I encountered marketing. <laughs> uh, with no skills, so okay. we just used to go tell guys, uh, buy this line, you can get a number that you wish, and... Uh, Basically, that was it. Do you manage to sell the stuff. lines? Oh, was it hard? It was hard. But it was easy the first two weeks. Because okay. <laughs> uh, now you have family. Everybody <laughs> wants to support you. Uh, you have family, friends. But uh, now when it comes to selling out there, uh, it, it, was, it, was a hard, it was a hard sell. Okay. Um, that's, that's very interesting. I mean, your first job was in the marketing world. And, you know, you have grown from selling, uh, from sales, actually, 
all the way to you are starting your own company, the, the marketing uh, moguls, and then right now the series. How have you managed to grow in your career? One, I'd say uh, I've been passionate, and uh, the marketing world is uh, very dynamic. You have to adapt to the new uh, changes, technology-wise, uh, education. So you, I have a thirst for knowledge. Uh, I keep I keep updating myself on the new uh, developments. So that means I'm I'm not left behind. So I've been uh, reading more and uh, keeping in touch with uh, the rest of the world, okay. especially uh, as far as marketing is concerned. Okay. Yeah. So what would you consider as the key to success in the, the marketing world? Uh, for me, I'd say uh, passion is very key. Because mm -hmm. when you have passion, uh, when you're doing something, it stops feeling like work, yeah. and uh, you, you definitely enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And uh, training is very key you need to be skilled at your trade. So that means uh, a lot of training, a lot of uh, self-development. Those are very key things if uh, you need to grow, especially in the marketing world. Okay. Yeah. Where do you see yourself as a marketer in the next five years? Where do you see your company, Marketing Moguls, or even the brand new series, Meet the Marketer series, in the next five years? <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, I see myself uh, helping uh, brands uh, build legacies. And I see uh, a positive uh, influence of uh, Meet the Marketer series uh, on the marketing world. Uh, we see um, many more marketers, uh, many more students pursuing uh, the marketing profession, and uh, a better understanding of uh, marketing by the public. Okay, what would be your advice to um, marketing students in campus right now? Uh, stay focused. Learn all you can at the moment and be passionate. Wow. Thank you so much, Mr. Victor Mutua. And uh, you know, it's a good thing actually that you're starting something that you didn't get. You talked about not having uh, any mentorship while you are at campus. Wishing you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe to our social media pages uh, that will actually be provided on the screen and follow our YouTube channel as well. It was awesome having you. It was real. We had so much fun. Remember, keep it marketing. See you later.